we're back in the car and we're hands free. You guys aren't falling over. It's not a weird angle because I got a car mount. I'm so excited. I showed you guys, I like quickly showed it to you guys at the end of the last vlog. Uh, these two things right here, this is the sync wire mount flex and the sync wire magnetic phone ring holder. I was so excited because you guys know I've been wanting a car mount for years. I've just never found one that I liked and when they reached out, I was like, this looks so simple, easy, not bulky and it's perfect. So um, I'm going to actually show you guys the stand that you're on. So I'm gonna take you off. So, uh, all right, let's turn you guys around. So here is the actual mount. It is um, just stuck onto my dashboard there with 3M, which they obviously include um, with the mount. And yeah, it's super easy to use. You guys can see there's so many different angles that you can have it at. You can push it up. You can push this forward to have like a more downward angle, depending on however you want your phone. And then obviously this moves as well, which uh, I'm obsessed with. So it's super secure and it, your phone doesn't go anywhere. I'm so excited to car vlog with you guys with this. And then on my actual phone case, I had to put on one of these little circle magnets. They give you so many, but it looks like this and it's just a really, really thin magnet. So your phone can actually stick to the car mount. So really easy. They give you everything you need. They even give you the wet wipes. I literally saved the packaging for the wet wipe because they give you the alcohol wipes to clean everything down so everything is secure and your phone is not going to go anywhere and the magnet and the stand and the mount it's not going to move so that's the car mount I'm obsessed and then they also sent me this so since I already have that magnetic ring on my phone case because I'm using the car mount with you guys if I'm not in my car I can just pop this baby on and it's a ring holder. So this part sticks to that magnet that's already on my phone case for the mount. And then I have a ring holder. So if I'm scrolling, if I need to be a little bit more hands-free, I have this. But what's cool about this is that yes, you can put your finger through it. It's more secure so you don't drop your phone, but it opens up. So you have this two part mechanism here. And with this, you can actually lean your phone over. You can watch videos. You can lean it vertically or horizontally either way. And it's just so neat. And there's so many times where I need to prop my phone up if I'm like eating a snack, if I'm having lunch and I wanna watch like a YouTube video or something and I need my phone propped up, this little guy is so good. And I can take this thing on and off whenever I want. So. Really love this as well. So depending on what you're looking for, if you want something just on the back of, of your phone to have it more secure, to have a little stand, this is perfect. Or if you are like me, you need a car mount, um, you can get one of these. Like both of them are amazing. Absolutely love them. So I'm gonna link them down below if you guys are looking for a car mount. It's so good. It, the magnet is really strong, um, but the pieces are really thin. So it's not bulky. A lot of car mounts and a lot of like ring holders are super bulky not into that so really thin and again it just folds up and out so good we'll link them down below if you guys are interested but now i can vlog with you guys so i'm actually on my way to meet my friend anna i think i've vlogged with anna a few times before but anna is actually moving out of the state and i'm so sad but we decided to get dim sum one last time together we are dim sum buddies she's my go-to friend to get dim sum with because we eat all the same things so it's easy to share so i'm gonna take you guys to dim sum with us and i'll vlog a little bit there so let's go i still can't believe i'm vlogging in the car and you guys are not falling over you're not tipping to the side you're not falling forward that's literally been my life for years and again i don't know what has stopped me from buying a car mount but you know here we are also don't do as i'm doing um i don't do this often i'm just so excited that i can vlog with you guys and you guys are not tipping over and falling but i'm going to drive to dim sum and we'll see you guys there Okay, change that to come in. You want chicken rice or pork and pickle? Just one chicken feet, I guess? Yeah, we don't really order more. Yeah. Um, right. Okay, how about? We'll see you. 
The tripod. Yep. Yeah. We need two of those. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you post it, I'll repost them. Okay. Yes. <laughs> those are addicting. Yeah. We're at the Asian oh, supermarket. One chocolate, one strawberry. Bye, Anna. Bye. One chocolate, one strawberry. <laughs> I finished dim sum with my friends Anna and Becca if you've been following me for a super long time you guys know who Becca is um her and I we're still friends we don't live near each other so we don't hang out as often anymore but it was so nice to see her so Anna Becca and I were you know we kind of grew up together and um again we haven't been together the three of us in a very long time so this was Anna's kind of like last hurrah dim sum I'm gonna see Anna tomorrow actually but today was the last dim sum with her and her and I just used to, used to always do dim sum together so that's why I was vlogging and was a big deal um to me at least and but I'm gonna see her tomorrow, so it's fine. Um, we have like one other food place we wanna eat together for one last time before she moves. So that's happening tomorrow, which I'll try to vlog some clips of tomorrow. But after dim sum, uh, all three of us went to the grocery store next door. I had to pick up oyster sauce. So this is the oyster sauce, um, the Panda brand. Um, I just, I like using this to season a lot of my meats and stuff like that. So I got that. And then Becca and I each got a huge bag of this fruit right here. Um, I call it Logan, but I don't know if that's the real name. I think it's called Logan. Um, but it's like a lychee, but it's smaller. It's sweeter in my opinion. And yeah, it's, it has a shell. You break open the shell and it's like a jelly inside with a seed in the middle. So I think I've shown you guys this before. It's not a huge surprise. It's an Asian, Southeast Asian fruit, I think. Um, but yeah, her and I each got a bag. This was $14. But if you know me, I will spend money on good fruit. Um, especially because this is seasonal. You can't get this year round. Huh. That is all I got at the grocery store. And now I'm gonna go home. I have therapy in like 30 minutes. And then I got to do some work, some emails, stuff like that. So I will see you guys, I don't know, the next time I vlog, maybe tomorrow.